Hello and welcome to JDTV News. Today on the show, we will cover student recognition, Folk Fest. Also, video from the Slush Cup, as well as recent soccer games. Oh, and Easter. Hi, I'm Zach. And I'm Jade. This past Wednesday, student recognition occurred. Student recognition is a monthly luncheon held up in the upper level of the library to honor nominated students and their achievements. A speaker gives a presentation and students are called up and awarded a certificate and a special pin. This month, the students being recognized were Cherie Booth, Samantha Chafin, Chris Jim, Matthew Cullum, Sarah Landon, Claire Olivia Olivares, Jerica Rezpotnik, Etienne Soboloff. Congratulations to those students and keep up the good work. As some of you know, Monday the 7th through Sunday the 13th was the 40th annual Folk Fest. Alaska Folk Fest is Alaska's oldest and largest festival and usually lasts seven days. It happens once a year where professionals and non-professionals perform in professionals from the United States, excuse me, get a chance to perform in Alaska. Anyone can submit an application to come and perform on stage, placed at Centennial Hall. Each year they have a special guest performer, and this year the guest performer was Bonsoir Katine. The guest performers are the only paid act, paid act aside from the whole event, aside from that the whole event is free. So next spring, when it comes around, you can check it out. On Saturday, April 12th, there was an autism awareness walk held at the Nugget Mall, put on by Catholic Community Services. There was many games, prizes, and activities for people of all ages and capabilities, which members from all over the community help set up and lead to show their support to each member in the community. This was not only a fundraiser to help with autism awareness, but also a, a chance for parents to take their children to a safe and fun environment and socialize with other families that have experienced similar situation. This event raised $5,500 with donations still currently being made. Lori King, a support group leader at Catholic Community Services, mentioned that they are always looking for volunteers for different events. If you need community service hours, you can call Lori King at 463-6182. Now Miriam has last weekend's sports scores for, for Slush Cup, perhaps, and about soccer. Thanks, Zach. Soccer season has begun here at JDHS, and we have been doing pretty well so far. Last Friday, the JDHS girls varsity team tied with Eagle River with a score of 2-2. Two two. Then played on Saturday again, tying with Eagle River 2-2. Two two. Boys varsity also played on Saturday out at Thunder Mountain, winning over Eagle River with a score of 4-2. On Saturday, Slush Cup hosted, or er, sorry, Eagle Crest hosted the annual Slush Cup. The show-off award was given to Dan Ord. Best costume was given to was won by Gabby Watto, and the Best Accuracy Award was won by Bruce Griggs. As always, it was great to watch while some contestants made a splash and others were more yeah, successful. Making it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Congrats to all contestants, including JDTV's Will Blank. Well, that's all for sports. What's going on in the calendar this week, Zach? The calendar is pretty full this week. Today is a very important day for any students who wish to become a member of the National Honor Society. The applications are due before 3 p.m. today in Ms. Sherson's room, which is room 114. JDHS Girls Soccer travels to Sitka and plays today. On April 23rd, bus passes are available for the last time. They cost $12. AKLN wants to make a new logo and is looking for Alaska students to come up with it. Stop by the Career Center before April 25th for more information. Also on April 25th, applications are due 
for uh, this awesome week-long kayaking trip. You can also pick up applications from the Career Center. April 30th, Robin Benicasa is speaking at Centennial Hall. Boys Soccer plays South and JV team plays Bartlett. Girls Soccer is also going to Anchorage and is going to play South as well and their JV is going to play West. Wow, thanks Zach. So lots going on. Let's see if those plans you made with all this sunshine will work out as planned. Let's go to Brett with weather. Brett? Thanks Jade. So for today's weather, we have a high of 48 and a low of 36. And on Saturday, we have a high of 51 and a low of 39. And on Sunday, we have highs of 50 and low of 37. That's all for the weekend weather. Back to you guys at the desk. As you may know, this Sunday is Easter. Easter baskets are available all over town. Be sure to buy your favorite chocolate this weekend. If you don't know which one to get, try the Cadbury cream eggs. They're the most popular eggs right now. Now for some Easter facts. Did you know that the idea of the Easter bunny originated in Germany? And 76% of Americans will eat the ears on a chocolate bunny first. Well, now you know. Have a great Easter. With that, I bid you all farewell. Make sure you guys leave some uh, carrots for the Easter bunny. Be sure to check us out at www.jdhsvideo.org. You can also follow us on Twitter at JDHS Video. Have a happy Easter.